Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is like a graham cracker crust. I am using the Keebler Ready Crust, and this is the shortbread kind. Um, you can get like the traditional graham cracker, you can get shortbread like this. I also saw Oreo, um, chocolate, they have all different kinds, so look in your store, see what they have, and get your favorite. Next for this recipe, I have the generic store version of Cool Whip. This is just the original whipped topping, and this is an 8 ounce container, as you can see. So this is the second ingredient. Okay, for the last part of this recipe, you're going to need two of your favorite yogurts. Um, I have these two here. These are both six ounces each. These are the strawberry cheesecake non-fat yogurts. Again, just generic store brand. Um, I have made this recipe before. When I first saw uh, Darlene and Sandy, which I will link their videos down below, when I first saw their recipes for this, I had to try it over Memorial Day weekend, so I did. And I used uh, raspberry yogurts for these, and it came out fantastic. So I figured I would do this again, and I would try doing like a spin on cheesecake, because cheesecake is one of my favorites. So I saw this in the store, and I'm like, I gotta try it, see how it comes out. So. This is going to be just like a first impression for me too because I haven't tried this flavor yet. I haven't tried it as the plain yogurt, nor obviously in this recipe. So I hope it tastes good. It should. I loved this last time and I got like rave, rave reviews from it for my family as well. So Darlene and Sandy, your videos were a hit. So this is my twist on it. Okay, so to make this, I have a container right here. Um, this one holds eight cups, two quarts. So it's pretty decent size. It's not nothing too crazy, but this will be enough for me to mix everything in. And then I also have just a spatula like this. This will work to help fold in everything together. Okay, so I have my bowl right here, and I have my Cool Whip to Whip topping here, and I'm just going to add that into the bowl. So here is what this stuff looks like, in case you're unfamiliar with it. It's like a non-dairy whipped cream sort of thing. So I'm just going to take off the top here, put that in. And I'm just going to pop this in. I'm trying a new camera angle today, so hopefully it works so you can see this. So you can see it's very like light and airy. It's very, it, it kind of has like a dairy taste to it, but again, it's non-dairy. So if you have like an allergy to dairy, um, this is something that you can use, which I'm sure you're probably already aware of. So there we go. We have that completely cleaned out. Um, one side note is you can actually save these containers and use them to restore your food. So I like to do that sometimes. Works pretty good. So I'm just going to put this off to the side here. Alright, so now I'm going to be adding in my yogurts. So I'm just going to take this and pour this in. You can see it's a pretty pink color. Alright, now I'm going to take this, the second one, and I'll fold that in as well. Alright, so now that we have that in there, we're just going to fold this in. Alright, so I pretty much have this all incorporated together. And as you can see, it has like a really nice, like light, pinky, almost, almost like a peachy color. It's very beautiful, as you can see. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do Darlene's trick, and I'm going to add a few drops of red food coloring to this, just to give it a little extra pop. So, hang on, and I'll go grab my food coloring. Alright, so I have my food colors here, and I'm going to use my red color right here. And I'm just going to do a few drops to start off with, just so I can get like a little pinky color, since this is strawberry cheesecake. 
I'll just do it five drops for now. We'll see how that works. All right, so I have this pretty much mixed in. I do have it so there is some like white still left, a little bit of the light pink in there, and I actually really like it like that. It kind of adds like a little bit of interesting texture, not texture, but you know what I mean. It makes it look really pretty. So I think that's gonna be it for my mixing. Again, you can mix yours with any color you want to. You can get, get it to any, you know, you can do like a solid color, or you can do it like I am with a little bit of like the marbling effect. It's completely up to you. Okay, so I have my pie crust here. I'm just going to take off the top. And all we have left to do is just pour in our yogurt and whip topping mixture. So we're just gonna put this off to the side here. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Again, this is the shortbread kind. Um, get whatever kind you want that you think would work good with your filling. So I'm just gonna scrape down the sides of my bowl here really quick. And we're just gonna fold this down and pour it in. So now if you wanted to get really fancy with this, I'm sure you could actually take like a piping bag or even just like a Ziploc bag and do like a little design if you want to do like little rosettes or do like a middle piece or a border. You name it, you probably could because it is, you know, Cool Whip. So it does have a little bit of a thicker consistency. So it would probably work good. But for me, really, I really don't care about how it looks per se. I just care how it tastes. So this will fill up your pie crust pretty well right to the top. And I don't really have too much left in the bowl, as you can see. So it actually fills this really well. I'm just gonna try and even this out to the edges a little bit. And there we go. So that is it. That is all you have to do for this recipe here. As you can see, it's quite simple. You can do it within minutes. You know, it took me a few more minutes because obviously I'm yapping in front of a camera, but I mean, less than five minutes, you could have this together. So it's great if you are having like a party, um, a get together, I mean, you name it, this is fantastic. Or if you're like me and just want to have a snack at home, this is fantastic. So I'm gonna put the top back on and just pinch down the sides. Now you can either put this in the freezer or you can put it in the refrigerator, depending on what you want. I'm actually just going to pop mine in the refrigerator and I'm going to let it sit for a couple of hours. Just let it cool back down to temperature again. Let it set for a bit. So by tonight it should be all set and I will show you what it looks like cut. Okay, so this just came out of the fridge. I've had it in there for a couple of hours. So I'm just going to open up the top here. And it looks really good. So right away I already have like the smell of strawberry wafting up. So I'm just gonna cut just a really small piece just so I can try this, but real quick I'll give you a little show so you can see what this looks like. So it looks really good. Alright, let's dig into this. My cell phone just went off. <laughs> if you're wondering what that little ding noise was. So as you can see, it's very light, and of course if you put this in the freezer it will get denser and also the longer that it sits in your fridge I find like with the last time I made this once I left it overnight oh my god it was amazing all right so I'm just gonna take a small piece out of here just so I can do a little sampling my plate here all right not bad okay 
Let me close this up and we'll give it a taste. Okay, so right here is a slice of the yogurt pie. I don't know what you call it, but Darlene's concoction here that I decided to make. So I'm just going to get into this here and take a bite. That's really good. It has a very, for the flavor that I picked, it has a very strong strawberry taste, but also has a faint hint of like vanilla. I think that's supposed to be like the cheesecake part, but this is actually really good. So I'm just gonna take another slice here, and a little bite. You can see the texture there. So you can see it's really light. This is a great snack. Like if you're trying to go on a diet or lose weight, this is a great snack because there's really not a whole lot of bad things in it, you know, compared to other things. You know, I'm not saying this is like the greatest thing, but you know, compared to others, it's not bad. So, mm. that's really good. All right, so I'm gonna polish this off and I'll be back. All right, so. I just polished that off. It was really good. It has a nice, light, fluffy texture to it. You know, you get like the crunch from the pie crust and then you have like that creamy, whipped creamy, well it's not whipped cream, but you know what I mean, the whipped topping um, texture with the flavor of the yogurt. It's just, oh, it's fantastic. And like I said, I can't wait to let this sit overnight in the fridge. And then everything like really will like soak up some moisture, especially the um, pie crust. It tastes phenomenal. So this is a fantastic dish, it's so easy to make. It's great for holidays, parties, um, you name it. It's perfect for like last minute things because this is so easy. Under five minutes and you're done. Um, it's also pretty inexpensive, probably, um, four dollars I'd say maybe five if that I'll put like the prices if I can remember what they were I'll put the prices somewhere um, here or down below one of the two I'll have it somewhere but this is a great dish so again um, I got this idea from Darlene and Sandy so I will put the links to their videos below check them out check out what they made they did theirs a little different so if you enjoyed this video, please go check them out, subscribe to their channels. If you enjoyed my video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel too. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.